Hello friends, welcome to a new topic which is fracture of surgical neck of humerus. This is most common in elderly women and it is due to a fall in the shoulder. Obviously there is some, there should be some trauma to the shoulder which results in fracture of surgical neck of humerus. So here uh, the, there is a person who is called as near. He has classified the fracture of surgical neck of humerus. Uh, based on four different parts where which can be involved in this uh, fracture so the shaft can be involved that is one the head which is there here this can be involved this is two there will be a greater tuberosity, greater tuberosity lesser tuberosity so this so near has classified the fracture neck of humerus of uh, in different parts based on the four parts he identified four parts where the fracture neck of humerus can occur one is at the head number two at the shaft number three at the greater tuberosity and at the lesser tuberosity so if you see here in the bone it can occur at the shaft here and number two it can occur in the humerus head head of the humerus Number three, it can occur in the greater tuberosity here. This can get fractured or it can occur in this lesser tuberosity. Okay. So based on this, if, if the fracture is present in all the four parts, okay, then he called it as a four part fracture. If the fracture is present in all the four parts, then he called it as a four part fracture. How will the patient come to us? The patient comes to us with obviously pain in the shoulder there will be swelling in the shoulder so how are you going to treat it treatment is a diagnosis first i'm sorry diagnosis is by an x-ray so once if you do an x-ray i know this is a half hazard film but if you do an x-ray you will see this is the clavicle this is the scapula all those are not clear but one thing is truly clear if you see this is the head this is the head with greater and lesser tuberosity this is the shaft of the humerus here if you see here there is some dislocation i know this is not clear but i think you can see something here there is dislocation this sorry here there is fracture so this is fracture of surgical neck of humerus okay now how are you going to treat it treatment depends on two major things okay number one whether the person is elderly or whether the person is younger if the person is elderly then you will have to do a triangular sling just immobilize the fracture uh, fragment with a triangular sling and then once the pain subsides the shoulder should be mobilized as fast as possible because healing occurs obviously once you are immobilizing it so healing occurs in a normal way that is what we do in elderly in younger patients because the fracture is widely displaced in younger patients there is large amount of displacement which is seen in elderly patients so we will have to reduce it under anesthesia anesthesia under anesthesia you will have to manipulate it and then reduce it and then once the fracture has been reduced you can no, just put a k wires to it attach a k wires multiple k wires can be placed okay so this is what we do for anger patients multiple k wires will be placed um this k wires we do it under uh, image intensifier percutaneously we can do it so these are the two treatment options which are available for surgical neck of humerus so what are the complications which we can see complications it can be axillary ne nerve palsy because axillary nerve can be present here around the humerus head so there is axillary nerve palsy and if if the mobilization is not done properly there can be uh, misattachments malunions and there can be shoulder stiffness also so these are the complications which are seen in um, surgical neck of humerus what are they axillary nerve palsy and shoulder stiffness 
so this is about uh, fracture of surgical neck of humerus thank you guys for watching my lecture in my next class i will explain about fracture of greater tuberosity of humerus thank you for watching my lecture thank you